let live. Live on, let live. Live on, let live. Live on, let live. Live on, let live. Animals are our friends. Come on, animals are our friends. Love your animals. Don't kill animals. Love animals. Don't kill animals. Love animals. Don't kill animals. Animals are our friends. Live on, let live. Live on, let live. Animals are our friends, not our food. 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 Listen to your heart. 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 Say what is there in your paper? Tell me. Live and let live. What is your paper? Live and let live. Good boy. What is your paper? My body will not be a tomb for other creatures. What is your your paper? A mouth. Good day. What did you want to write? I do not know. You do not know? Yeah. <laughs> That's it. What is your paper? Hot. Good. Love. No. My food is grown, not born. Come on, speak out loudly. My food is not. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. Read, Come on, read, read it. Again. Read it. Not. Read it. My food is not bo grown. Not born. Not born. Eat beans, not beings. My food is grown, not born. What you are born? Nothing. <laughs> he wants nothing. What you want? Animals are not products. Life is not a price. Animals is not products. Life is not a price. They not understand anything. Come slow. not for us. Speak loudly. It's going to be very loud. Nobody here. Animals are here with us, not for us. Okay. Live and let live. Live and let live. Live and let live. Animals are here with us, not for us. We want let live. We want let live. Live and let live. Live and let live. Yeah. Animals are my friends, and I don't eat my friends. Okay. Live and let live. Uh, live and let live. You're done, right? Yeah. I'll live and let live. Animals are? Our friends. What do you have to do? Animals what? are our friends. And animals are not my food. Tell animals me. are not my food. Hare Krishna ji, I know one thing. Can I tell you? Yeah. My slogan? Huh? I don't want to eat anything that poops. <laughs> <laughs> Live on, let live. Live on, let live. Live on, let live. Animals are our friend, not our food. Love animals, don't kill animals. Thank you. Jai Hind. Thank you, thank you, masters. Thank you, little masters. Yeah, okay. big round of applause. Wonderful job. Okay. Thank you so much for all. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let them go. Again, let's thank everybody. Thank all the volunteers and give a big round of applause to the kids as well as to the parents and the volunteers.
Okay, so continuing on the topic of food, uh, one of the pillars of PSSM is vegetarianism. And you would have all heard the saying that, you know, you're what you eat. So in Hindi, you have heard that, you know, jaisa an, vesa man. So I would like to introduce our next guest, uh, Dr. Namrata Shah and uh, Abha Deva Rajan for a Q&A on one of the topics that is actually dear to my heart, which is uh, plant-based food habits. So a few words about uh, Dr. Namrata. Uh, she's a OBGYN physician doing private practice in Edison and Piscataway. Her practice uh, provides comprehensive health services, uh, including uh, care for pregnant uh, patients, fertility, and other gynecological services. Uh, Dr. Shah has conducted and provided services for free community health camps by Dwarkadish, Swami Narayan, and other Hindu temples. Being a Jain, Dr. Shah has been a vegetarian since childhood and practices the Jain way of life. So, Dr. Namrata. <laughs> and then, our next guest is uh, Abha Devarajan. Um, not sure, one dog. So, I'll go over uh, her intro until uh, Abha ji is here. Did you say Abha? Yeah, okay, Abha ji. So Abha Devarajan's vegan life story started after watching a documentary called Forks Over Knives. Uh, she has followed a vegetarian lifestyle all her life. So the only item that she thought that she had to remove was cow's milk and the products made from cow's milk. It seemed easy until she realized that the number of products she used every day included some type of elements from animals. So she felt painful and sad to realize that due to our lack of awareness, we use and abuse the world around us and destroy our own selves as well. Now, Abha's focus is to do all she can to promote sustainable ways to live a prosperous and peaceful life via plant-based lifestyle and gardening. She's a member of the executive board for the New Jersey chapter of World Vegan Vision, whose mission is to promote a healthy vegan lifestyle. So welcome, Abha ji. And Sirish Revankar, our PSSM NJ master, he will be moderating this session with Dr. Namrata and Ms. Abha. Hello. Hello. So, yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. Have a seat. Thank you, friends, and uh, really appreciate all uh, uh, waiting here after the meal. And it was a great meal. Thank you for the great vegetarian meal. As you guys uh, are aware, right? Uh, we we are in the spiritual journey, right? We are trying to understand our body, mind, and spirit. And uh, food is one of the most important part that we intake. In addition to, uh, you know, other intakes we have, like verbal intakes and experiential intake, we also take in the food, which is a chemical product, right? As we see, there, this chemical is just not a physical chemical product, it's a mental product also, right? And as uh, based on our ancestors' uh, experiences and the knowledge that we gathered in Vedas and all, right? So uh, the food we eat, is, is the accumulation of all the material that is living out there, including the plant and the animals. And, you know, unfortunately, we consume animals because of living conditions that we, uh, we were born and uh, the traditions and everything else, right? Uh, the accumulation of that and the product that we are as a human being, and likewise, Animals also are product of this nature. They have mind, they have body, and they have expressions, anger, everything that goes inside the body. And then uh, we, we are now here in the spiritual journey towards the enlightenment, right? So the purpose of that is to clean up our own mental impressions and, and sustain our cleanliness within our journey to the spiritual goal. So while doing that, um, 
it is advised right from our ancestors and the on the processes that we follow that we do not consume animal products animal products in the sense that it that carries uh, emotions of that mind that is the inside the animal so that being said um, this is the um, learning process we are in right we are learning everybody is learning we, everybody experiences different things and in this journey it is said that if you maintain vegetarian diet plant based diet it helps you to progress to know yourself other than indulging into all those mental uh, attractions or attachments that we have all karmic balances that comes along with the mind that we consume as a food animal product that we consume that carries the mind and when you consume it it gets expressed in our body and indirectly we are like driven by that physical force that comes with that food so plant since don't have you know um, the aggressive mind and they are not violent and they don't have they do have emotions but those are not extreme emotions and that is actually helping us to to balance our you know emotional health and go towards the enlightenment a purity of mind unless we have mental purity we cannot see ourselves the reason only reason everybody is not enlightened here because we cannot see ourselves that is that is the most important thing that we need to look at ourselves and see ourselves and realize ourselves if we cannot realize ourselves i cannot even talk to the person next to me because i don't know myself how can i know the other person right so the basic fundamental that we know need to know ourselves and that's why my friends we are here to realize our true potential true self and the food is a very integral part of us we work 8 hours for 10 minutes of meal right we spend food only 10 minutes 15 minutes we finish our meals and we work so hard to get there right so um now so much said about plant based vegetarian uh, you know uh, this thing um can you explain me what exactly this um, you know uh, abha ji if you can tell me what you think about this plant based medicine and uh, what is it actually what what do you what are you supposed to do for that thank you actually what you said right now was beautiful <laughs> um our spiritual journey it's important on that journey for us to be at least purifying the body as much as we can so plant based diet is basically just like the name says anything that comes from the plant is acceptable to eat but if it comes from you know a five sensed organism like cows goats then it's not okay for us to use like you said whatever emotions those animals are feeling even though we could say well i'm not killing the cow to consume the cow's milk but is it okay to abuse and hurt the cow to obtain that milk because we're separating a child from its mother um and you know there's all kinds of stuff that goes on in dairy industry which we don't even know and i think that's lack that lack of awareness is what causes us to consume those animal products so we just have to be like i said more self aware know of ourselves and once you know yourself you realize you don't even need those things you don't need cow's milk for protein you don't need animal products to um for your health in fact you'll realize your health is much better when you go completely plant based on completely plant based lifestyle yeah so what do you think about what exactly plant based uh, products are like what it should we eat right now if i go to the table like what should i order like what is a plant based is it something um you know just you go on eating salads or uh, is it something that you just go on e eating all the uh, you know nuts and things like that what do you think about this green uh, you see i mean fortunately we live in a time and age where we have lots of options i mean if you're consuming animal milk then your options are like what cow's milk goat milk but in plant based milk you have so many different options oat milk almond milk cashew milk uh coconut milk hemp milk tamp milk um and those milks have a lot more protein actually almond milk has more vitamin d and protein than cow's milk so you have more options and they're better options they're cleaner options they're better for your spiritual journey as well thank you ji Navrata ji uh, coming to you um, 
Uh, what do you think the protein levels or the you know nutrition levels? Like many people are scared of switching to plant-based uh, diet. Do you do you see how this plant-based diet can be arrived? Like what are the human requirements, like growth requirements? You know, like kids needs to eat and drink some protein stuff, and so that they can build their muscles and all. What is your thoughts on that? So if you look at our food pyramid, right? Yeah. The or if you look at websites like myplate.gov, half of your plate should be vegetables and fruit. That's easy. Quarter percent or 25 percent is protein based. So instead of animal protein, we have several different options. We can do our dals, lentils, legumes, beans, seeds, nuts. Uh, like Abaji just mentioned, we have so many options other than dairy, so it's not just cow milk or goat milk. We can do almond milk, soy milk, rice milk, coconut milk, even soy beans, soy tofu. So we can substitute paneer, for example, with tofu. So if you look at only veganism or only vegetarianism, we get all the sources of protein from that, from a vegan or a vegetarian diet or a plant-based diet, without adding the risks of consuming more cholesterol, or if you look at a lot of animal products have hormones, antibiotics, they have too much processing done to preserve the animal products yeah. in, in frozen for God knows how many months, like when you get these frozen yeah. beef, turkey, so many preservatives must have been added so that it lasts for six months or more. And they also Why? add the test enhancers too. Yeah. Why would we want to eat that? Um, if somebody wants to switch from, um, you know, non-vegetarian to vegetarian is switching, um, how difficult is it? Like, what do you think, like, they should do gradually into that, or is it a switch of, uh, like that, just switch overnight into the vegetarian? What is the advice in medical term? So I have seen both sides of it, because uh, there are people who learn, like Abhaji said, she watched a video, Forks and Knives, or... Uh, you know, you see some animal movie where the animals were tortured, like she said, in the dairy industry. They stash all these uh, cows into one small shed. They milk them until there's blood coming. Once you see something like that, people are ready to make an overnight switch. But for those who cannot, it doesn't have to be. As we are, yeah, our goal is to create awareness that there is risks involved in consuming animal products to our health. Right? Yeah. Healthcare is the multi-billion dollar industry. Yes. This is a no-brainer that even if we stop ourselves from eating animal products one day a week, one meal a day, it doesn't have to be cold turkey switch completely to become vegetarian, yeah. but even the awareness that this can be done and yeah. it should be done is important. There is a Monday, Veggie Monday is a thing going on, right? All over the world, people don't eat uh, non-vegetarian on Monday especially in the non-vegetarian folks. So they do at least one day as a vegetarian. Right. And Abhaji, to coming back to you, so what do you think how that is impacting the whole world? As you said, that animal, uh, you know, uh, has been, they, they have a brutal treatment to them. How does it really impact the ecosystem of the planet? I mean, that's a big question. I will try to cover it quickly. <laughs> um, the impact is, the impact of animal agriculture is very detrimental on our environment. And I don't know if, how many of you have any, um, you know, heard about climate change and all of that. Animal agriculture, con you know, contributes to that directly. If you've experienced flooding, if you've experienced, you know, health issues with, with respect to pollution, because a lot of greenhouse gases are produced from animal agriculture. So it's, I mean, I, I could be here all day, but I know yeah. we got to so <laughs> wrap up you, soon. If you look at this, uh, the, the greenhouse, um, you know, gas getting produced from this uh, animal raising farms, it's enormous and it's actually adding to our, uh, you know, um, um, ozone layer uh, depletion, right? And it's a greenhouse effect that is causing a lot of uh, impact to this. And our, we are going to the end of this civilization if we con don't control these greenhouse gases. So uh, as the, if you look at the more and more people population is growing, 
we have um, you know almost pretty much 80 90 percent where some of the countries are non-vegetarian right india is the only country is more of them like 40 50 percent are vegetarian and we are going actually i would have been um, you know glad if it can be going towards positive side of it but we definitely want to have some awareness going towards the vegetarian the reason is we need to protect this planet more than anything we need our kids to live in the balanced planet so we have to balance it out right now it's called going on the other side of it so um, what do you think that um, you know what who is it benefiting non vegetarian is benefiting home and vegetarian is benefiting home right if you look at it it's all corporate world it's a manufacturing animal products right the leather industries there's a leather coming out in the market which is a vegetarian made up of uh, you know the coconut and the you know um, the mushrooms they make the leather out of mushrooms so uh, i think we definitely should promote that and also for the self selfish nature we want to get enlightened we want to get a purity on mind right we do not want to have processed mind eating coming back to our body and then taking advantage of this thing see one another thought i have it is you know in our body we we are actually accumulator of a lot of mental products right all our cells are living beings right we are feeding them with this food we are feeding our cells with this animal product right we are responsible for our cells health our health is our health yes we are enjoying our health but we are actually feeding our body cells we blame them with the disease oh you got sick i got a you know di diabetes because oh wait a minute who decided to eat that sugar right your body did not decide it your will decided that so it is our decision making that is making our situations more easier or more complicated right so going back to the topic um so um when uh, when you say right um a plan based diet what do you think can be good practice of preparations or any ideas that you can share with us namrata ji so uh, most of our indian community we are used to preparing dals uh all vegetables and fruits of course uh, i think more we awareness needs to be protein so instead of animal protein we would use uh, dal as a substitute for dairy protein we would use maybe if you are putting paneer you use tofu and all the various milks that are available uh rotis breads you can use whole grain products rather than whole uh, you know refined products even baked goods are available now that are vegan without uh, without instead of butter we use oil instead of eggs we can use uh, chia seeds flax seeds apple sauce in fact uh, one egg can be substituted for one cup of peas the wow. one cup of that, peas has more protein than right. one egg that that's really astonishing really There i mean i yeah i mean lot of seed i mean if you see uh, even the elephant is vegetarian <laughs> is such a huge person <laughs> huge uh, right. uh, figure True. right and a lot of uh, i saw a lot of uh, you know sports heroes mm -hmm. they are vegetarian the boxer one of the uh, famous boxer what's his name um I, I, mark tyson mike tyson is vegetarian guys really and you know it is going to help you to get yourself little above from the surrounding i was a non vegetarian i am from goa we eat fish we cannot survive without fish in ganpati's fish is next door we wait for the ganpati to go out and fish comes in that's how we'll survive in goa but i became vegetarian right i became vegetarian in first time and then i became vegetarian and i i, I see it's a, it's enlightening experience actually i'll tell you my own experience if you feel yourself 100 pounds or 100 kg today you feel right after becoming vegetarian automatically your conscious weight or the you know heaviness goes down you will feel light and you can easily meditate you can switch your topic quickly you cannot get stuck see the stickiness of mind goes away and meditation it is most important part 
Okay. So, Namrata ji, so what do you think, you know, if I want to switch, like, you can guide people, uh, our um, uh, audience here, that how quickly we should move into vegetarianism, like, uh, as you said earlier, that we can slowly transition. But is that going to impact our body? So for anybody who's been eating meat for many years, to switch right away may be hard. I just gave other options. If they switch cold turkey, that's wonderful. But if they cannot, at least start with meatless Mondays, like you said, and work on that. If they see that they are going through Monday without any meat, or whatever day they pick, yeah. without any issues, they can replicate it on any other day of their choice or all the days. There is no need. Our body doesn't need meat to survive. Yeah. So there is no need for us to kill animals. Like all these kids say, I was very impressed. Such young kids telling us, live and let live. Yeah. There is no reason why, as adults, we can't do the same. If the kids can make a decision like that, adults for sure can. Yeah. And even kids are being fed what their parents teach them, right? If they're making meat at home, and the kids don't have other alternatives, what are they going to do? So if the kids are willing to switch, I don't see why we cannot. Sure. Sure, no, I was just going to say you need to hold the mic closer to your mouth. Oh, thank you. Yeah, that's, that, that, that is absolutely, you know, um, thrilling. I mean, I, I've seen a lot of uh, violence going on, and kids are being given the sports, uh, you know, the games that we, they play on the video games, right? Most of them are loaded with violence. Instilling the vegetarianism and uh, the respect for living beings is one of the most important part that uh, we parents can give. Uh, the sensitivity to the environment, sensitivity to living beings, sensitivity of yourself, right? How do you respect the living beings out of, out, outside of you? Uh, it's wonderful talking to you, Abhaji, and uh, it was really great uh, you know, talking to you. Uh, Abhaji is running, as you know, uh, one of the um, um, uh, vegan um, um, organization here. I'm sorry, I, I forgot the name. World Vegan Vision. World Vegan Vision. We, should, we have the standees outside yeah. and some brochures and promotional material yeah. if anybody wants to take a look. Yeah. So it's, it's a wonderful uh, even idea to instill the sensitivity in the kids so that they can respect the planet and preserve the planet for their offsprings coming after 50, 60 years or whatever, 30 years. So it's, it's, it's really our responsibility to really grow ourselves, go out of the emotional clutches that we get into, and progress our spiritual health. And I think uh, the food that we eat is going to produce our muscles and uh, the mind uh, you know, in, in future. So be uh, aware of what you're eating, and the vegetarian is a great uh, thing to have in your lifestyle, and it's absolutely going to build your consciousness it is the energy that you're going to produce. And, um, and uh, really, uh, you have anything else to say? Yeah, I just want to um, maybe clarify a little bit. Like the word vegetarian, right? If you just slice and dice the word itself, vegetarian, meaning somebody who's eating vegetables, over time, I think the word itself has taken different meanings, right? Somebody will say, I'm vegetarian, but I can have eggs, I can have chicken, fish, or whatever. But if you just focus on the essence or meaning of the word, it means to eat vegetables. So, and again, I could eat fried vegetables all day, may not do much good to my health. So it's, it's, it's about eating plant-based whole food diet. Like what you put in your body, that's gonna impact how you feel and how you're gonna go on that spiritual journey. Um, if you are gonna put a lot of stuff that's not good for your body in your body, that's only gonna create a roadblock on your spiritual journey. So at the end of the day, it's what is it that you want and what are you willing to do for it if you think you can? Just like uh, I think Pari said earlier, if you think you can, you can. If you think you can't, you can't. So at the end of the day, it's all about you. What is it that you want and how are you going to do it? Absolutely well said, Abhaji. Thank you so much. So. I agree. Well said, Abhaji. I don't think I have a lot to add after you and Shri spoke. But I think I have been a Jain and vegetarian all my life. So for me, there was nothing to change to. In fact, I didn't even tell my kids. They grew up over here and they followed exactly what I was doing. Um, I'll give a very small example. My daughter on her 16th birthday got Uggs boots and 
fancy um, handbags and other things from her uh, friends and uh, uh, when they came to the uh, birthday party. And she put all of them in a bag and set them out. And I said, what's the matter? You don't want any of them? So I didn't have to tell her. She said, I'm not wearing an animal on my feet. So I think that summarizes it all. You know, we are what we eat. We teach our children the same. If we are going to follow vegetarianism, plant-based diet, I'm sure our kids and generations to follow will do the same. Thank you. Absolutely, absolutely right, Namrata ji. I really appreciate Namrata ji and Abha ji coming here and give us some uh, wisdom about uh, you know, how to eat uh, our right food, which is actually building our mind and muscles and, uh, and our you know, body parts and, and taking care of all our emotional health. It's important. Emotional health is critically important that we need to nourish it with a positivity, right? So not the negativity. And the whole process of doing meditation is building your positive side of you and, and creating more spiritual experiences. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Thank you, Sirishi. Thank you, Sirishi. Thank you, Thank you Namrata Ma Ji and uh, Abha Ji. Please stay on the stage. And Lakshmi Garu will be felicitating you. Thank <laughs> you.